This was written by a fellow by the name of Jimmy Davis and first recorded by a fellow named Webb Pierce. A lot of you young folks out there will say, who the hell is Webb Pierce? He's the fellow that had the Cadillac with the big longhorns on the front and, and uh, chrome-plated six-shooters for door handles and a whole bunch of stuff like that. Oh, and he had a um, <coughs> swimming pool in his backyard that was shaped like a guitar. It's sort of silly, some of the things you can do when you have money. <laughs> anyway, he wrote this for Jimmy. Every, everybody's recorded this. Uh, Farron Young and... Oh, who's Farron Young? He's the singing deputy. And Merle Haggard, who just left this last year. Come sit by my side, little darling. Come lay your cool hand on my brow. Promise me that you Be nobody's darling but mine. You're as sweet as the flowers in springtime. You're as pure as the snows on the road. And I'd rather be somebody's darling Than a poor boy nobody knows Nobody's darling but mine does Be honest, be faithful, be kind. Promise me that you will always be no. Goodbye, goodbye, darling. I'm leaving you just for a while. Promise me. Be nobody's darling but mine. Promise me that you will always be no. Thank you. This is, uh, um, actually I'll start off, this is written by a local guy. Um, he actually lives in the peace country. And uh, he never finished the last stanza till last Wednesday, so I didn't memorize it. The truth is I don't memorize anything I write. 
Um, a week from today, a week from tomorrow, there's a multicultural fusion festival happening right here in this here place, right here. And I get thinking uh, that 30, 40 years ago that would never would have happened uh, probably anywhere in Canada. Um, we just didn't participate with everybody. Um, I was walking up, Karen and I have a ramp, uh, took the stairs out and we have a ramp to get to our place. And a couple of times we've had uh, entertainers there at the pavilion and I've built a ramp so people could get in. And uh, I was walking up the ramp to the house the other day and I was thinking, uh, 1964, nobody had a ramp. And uh, down in Ontario where I was a boy, uh, the Ojibwe's lived up on Manitoulin Island, and uh, there weren't any uh, natives in Ontario. They were all up on Manitoulin Island. And uh, they had probably the best stock in all of Ontario, but uh, nobody knew it because they didn't tell anybody. Um, and now, if you want sheep or pigs or cattle that are top of the line, you go to Manitoulin Island. And uh, back in the 60s, if there was a couple of guys sitting in a wheelchair that needed a, a ramp to get someplace, they were telling each other. And they weren't telling somebody that had a hammer and some boards to make the damn <laughs> ramp. Uh, there just wasn't uh, conversation, I guess is the word I'm looking for. It's one of the words in here, actually. So anyway, that's why I wrote this, and this is why I call it uh, inclusion. We spend a lot of time now, and the effort is immense, ensuring everyone's included and not left outside the fence. But this feeling of exclusion, it isn't something real. It's part of hearts and minds what some people feel. But they were not really walled off or blocked by some social shield. The door was always open, not locked or barred or sealed. If you want inside the herd, say hello now and then. Start a conversation with those inside the pen. Learn what the herd does and how they live their lives, what they think is moral and their view of wrong or right. And you don't have to do things the way that they all do. But remember, if you're different, majority still set the rule. Nothing wrong with being different, even if some things, some people think you're strange. But don't expect to see big smiles when you tell them they have to change. Thank you. And I'm told I got, well, I can do another one. <laughs> Just for that. It's been ten long years since I left my home In the cabin where I was born Where the cool fall nights make the wood smoke rise And the fox hunter blows his home I fell in love with a girl from the town I thought that she would be true we ran away to Charlottesville I worked in a sawmill too Oh, what have they done to the old home place? Why did they tear it down? And why did I leave the plow in the field And look for a job in the town? The blind wild boy and the police fly south As I stand here and hang my head I've lost my love, I've lost my home And I all I wish that I were dead Oh, what have they done to the old home place? Why did they tear it down? And why did I leave the plow in the field? 
and look for a job in the town. Oh, why did I leave the plow in the field and look for a job in the town? I should have quit while I was ahead. Thank you.